Good morning. Good morning. It is a sloppy Saturday morning over here. I appreciate your patience with how I look and how I smell. <laughs> <laughs> Svetlana, you are a superstar uh, automobile salesperson here in the Detroit area. When we lease the car through you, your amazing uh, attention to detail, your follow-up. Uh, when you came over, you actually delivered the car to our house. Who does that anymore? And we were just so impressed with you. Um, Today, we're going to look at something that a lot of people probably should look at is refreshing their LinkedIn um, presence uh, through a very simple exercise. It's just replacing the cover photo. Here I want uh, my cover photo to show people what, make, what makes me different from uh, other salespeople, other, you know, I'm with you. people who do the similar thing, yeah. So I just pulled up your profile. Let's have a look at mine too, so we can see, we can show people what we're talking about. I'm on my LinkedIn page now, and you can see that I'm using my cover photo, which is this area. This avatar is actually a movie, a video. Oh. No matter how good of a presenter you are, everyone has a weak spot. This means you're not helping as many people as you could be. It means you are unnecessarily uncomfortable with negative emotions like jitters and nerves. It means that you're probably leaving money on the table, either hard dollars or even more valuable time and income opportunities. I've helped thousands of speakers in dozens of industries improve their game. Get your free consult at michaelangelocaruso.com forward slash talk. So you see the timing on it is very it. tight, but it gives you a chance to get it in front of people with your good positive energy. Um, I don't actually know how many people click on the damn thing, but I liked having the video. It was a little way to distinguish myself from 99% of the profiles, which have this static headshot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to your page. Let's see what we can do to buff you up. So you can see uh, everybody that Svetlana um, wants to put in something that's maybe automotive related, something that uh, can pump up her brand. She's got a great avatar, shiny, happy person here. And so how does that work? How do you replace it? Let's go back to my page now. I'll show you how it's done. There's a little edit button here in the, in the cover photo. I'm gonna press it, which gives me a chance to crop. Essentially it's just moving it up and down. Filter and adjust, but I can also change the photo here and that's what I'm gonna do Svetlana. So um, I'm gonna, and now this is a very unusual, watch my hands. You see, most photos are like this, almost square or rectangular. This one's really long, so it's a special kind of a dimension. And if I wanted to just upload it here, upload a new photo that is, I could go to a folder on my computer called images, and all of my personal photos are tagged with my initials Mac. So if I just type Mac, a lot of my photos will come up. And uh -huh. I can't see because they're so small, but if I say, for example, I wanted to use this one, which is a photo of me. You can see there's a lot of people in this room. It's a what's called POV, point of view. The problem is because it's such a narrow photo, I'll never get that impact, you see? Yeah, so it's not a good photo for me. All I get is the dais and me talking like that. It's not the photo that I want. So I'll try for something else. Yeah, and that's how you look at what's going on in the image to see. You might know all of this stuff already, do you? Mm hmm. Okay, if you do, then I'll move along here quickly. So what I'm looking for is an image that's going to show well in that little narrow frame. I realize you can't see these uh, tiny images, but hang in there with me one second. Okay, so here's a photo that will plug my YouTube channel. Things I learned uploading 1,000 videos. And it's just a little... And now when it blows it up in the frame itself, it's a little bit more of what I want. Still not, it's still not the high end kind of a look that I want, but let's just keep it for now. I'll show you one other cool way to do a high end photo. Do you have access to Canva or do you have a Canva account? 
I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So if you, a little while ago, I Googled uh, LinkedIn cover photo pixel, P-I-X-E-L, because I need to know the exact dimension. So if I go into Canva, And I want to create a design. There it is, custom. See it down here? Maybe too small for you. You can even watch mm -hmm. this video later and see it better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So create a design, custom. And now I'm creating the exact dimension that I need. And I don't have to find a photo that fits into it. So this is going to be better on a lot of levels. Create new design. You see how long and narrow that is now? Mm -hmm. Now in the upper left here, you'll see, you know, how you can do the um, uploads. And I'm going to go to um, upload files, same process I was doing before, images, Mac. And let's say it's going to be me speaking this time. I'm going to be a little bit more specific. So I already did the TED thing. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more, maybe um, this is LinkedIn now, so it's a business a, a professional setting. Maybe I want to be dressed up. Maybe I want to have a suit on. I know I did a talk in Dallas where I looked good, had a good hair day. There it is. So this image might be okay, but the image is on the left. And remember, that's where that tiny movie was. This one's on the right. Maybe this will be better for me. And now I can import that image to this thing here. Had you thought about using Canva to do this? Yes. My my biggest struggle is deciding what to put on the cover photo. Okay. So we're here now. Now what I can do with mm -hmm. this background is make it all black. H have you ever done this before? I don't want to review it if you have. Uh, not this. No. Okay. I did play with Canva a little bit, but not. Okay, I don't watch know this much. now. So it's all it's the problem is it starts to look like I patched it together. I don't want it to look patched. So I'll make the entire mm -hmm. background black. Look how cool that was. Nice. And then I can start dropping in text like um, here. A heading. And the heading I want to use is um, um, the name of my brand is present like a pro because I teach people how to say do better keynote presentations or sales presentations. And now I can move this where I need it. And I just fix this like this. This is right now it's, it's, um, remember I've got that, my profile's over there. So I want to stay clear of that area. So we're almost done, man. Like we're like a 10 seconds from finishing this thing. Uh -huh. There we go. So now that's all set up. I might want to lower that just a little bit like that. Okay, now I'm good. Now, if I just want to share this to my desktop, download. Well, there it is. Uh, desktop. Now I go back to LinkedIn because it's I have this available to me now. And I click edit and then change photo. You with me? Mm-hmm. Upload photo back to the desktop because that's where I put it. There it is. But you get the idea. Yes. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, I think the idea is yeah. when you when 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 you people go to your uh, LinkedIn page, your Facebook page, Instagram, whatever, and you have a brand to represent like you do with your career, you want them mm -hmm. to be very clear right away what kind of value you have to them.